Good morning. Let's continue with uh, Double Trouble. I'm still sticking to my theory that there's going to be a third murder. Because Ibuki's not going to count. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a specific clue. Definitely. Hajime. Hajime mashite. So maybe that wasn't Ibuki we saw walking. That's a potential plot point. Hey. Nice going, Cause. You made her all hoomphy. <laughs> yeah, cause you're a little fucking, a little dumbass. Okay, Ibuki's room was this one, right? this room? Oh, it's an MRI machine. Dude, if you've ever been in an MRI machine, I actually was like deaf for a solid day. Even with earplugs. Hey. Cuz. Hey. Aww. And what's so embarrassing? Hey, hey. Well, see. Nope. 
Got her all mad, Hajime. Got her all mad. Tsk tsk. Really gotta work on your woman skills. Should hang out with Nabukami. So it's probably the same curtain that was used for the... Eh... What was it called? The, 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 the curtain in the concert hall, whatever. The music venue. What's the point of this room? It's probably something to do with the curtain. Kinda weird. Does not look like a very comfy bed. Not one bit. Oh, a little ghost Monokuma. Isn't that cute? What a cute Monokuma. Let's go to a new location. She is not very smart. Definitely seems like Chiaki is the Kyoko of this game. And probably someone like... Actually, are there even more dumb people in this game than the other one? Um... Chiaki and... I guess Fuyuhiko is pretty smart. And Mikan. Pretty smart in their own way. Oh, Nagito. Nagito, that's who. Yeah, Nagito's like the. Kind of like a Byakia Kyoko combination thing. Hello there. I see. Hey! Did you call me? Wah -wah? What are you gonna do? You know what people used to do? I remember when I when I used to go to movies as a kid with classmates, they would pick a Saturday and they just never leave the movie theater. 
So they just keep, and they just go to different, uh, different, what are they called? Um, like, rooms? What's the English word? Different, like, lots? No, whatever. And they just watch different movies throughout the whole day, but only pay for one ticket. And I was like, you guys really got nothing better to do? No, no, no! Are you sure? Impossible! <sighs> Impossible. Whoever bought that was a killer. Well, I have a feeling that's going to be like the major yeah, plot point. I can't wait! I can't wait! Like, kind of like the major. Aha! Uh -huh. I see. I see. Okay, you ready for the stupid movie yet, Monokuma? Monokuma was born in a remote village full of old people because the death rates outpaced the birth rates. One day, Monokuma was swept up by a tornado created by a helicopter gunship during a routine military exercise and was whisked away to Monami's country. Monokuma wanted to return to his homeland so he could go back to pestering the old people for change. So he began his journey to see the wizard, Monami, who was rumored to grant any wish one desires. Along the way, he met a very loyal group of friends. Monokuma met a Monami scarecrow who was missing a brain. When he recommended that she commit suicide, the Monami Scarecrow hanged herself and died. He also met a Monami Lion who was missing her courage, so he pumped her full of arrows. He also met a Monami Tin Man who was missing a heart, so Monokuma sliced her into lumps of iron. After a lot of other stuff happened, Monokuma finally reached the wizard Monami, the great and powerful. Eventually, one thing led to another, and he started beating the crap out of Monami. And in the end, he somehow usurped the kingdom from her. With this, Monokuma enslaved the old people took their pensions, and lived the rest of his days in luxury. And he lived happily ever after. The end. Wow. What a great film. Well, I actually wasn't paying attention at all. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm gonna regret that for the case. Bye. <laughs> no. 
Yeah, I remember the hanging. Yeah, being tied to the tree. Yeah. So what about the third one? I still think it would be very creepy. Because remember Ibuki was suffering from gullible disease? What if the killer just told her to go hang herself? And there's a third person still to die. That's what I think. That's what I think. I think I'm pretty big brain about this one. Okay, where do we go now? Uh, it's, uh, blah, blah. Motel? Haven't been to the motel yet. hard to think about who the killer could be because it's a double trouble or maybe a triple threat well yeah Hiko's account, good. So you have appeared. Listen well. <laughs> How does anybody talk to this guy? That's a better question. How did you get in here? Um. But how did she get in here? If I had the key... Wait, what the fuck? Ah, I see you, Monokuma. No. Gotcha. Motel stinks of bed bugs. Um. However. Perhaps. Um. You are right. 
Perhaps... I... Yoko, by chance, are you having trouble wearing your kimono? Stupid! What are you saying? Of course I can do it! Because... Mahiru taught me! That's why... I can do it on my own! Uh, um... If that is the case... How about you do it someplace where there is a mirror? Do you remember the full-length mirror in the storage room at the music venue? If you do it while standing in front of a large mirror, I am confident you will be successful. Also, shutting yourself in your room like this may be bad for your health. Um... It cannot be! Something is very wrong. Class trial time. Hello! How's everybody doing? It's me, Monokuma! Yay! Awesome! The class trial's gonna start, you know. So, make sure you guys come to Monokuma Rock ASAP! I'll see you soon! Monokuma Rock. This is gonna be a good class trial, I can tell. It's gonna be a very good one. Welcome! Wait! Monami's such a dumb child. Hey! Hey, hey! Hmm. What? <laughs> anyway. Bye bye! Bye bye. Hey, hey. Huh? D damn it. Well. <laughs> How about it? What do you yearn for? <laughs> See? I'm gonna do it. Hmm, I wonder. Who could this be? Yeah, I actually don't have any- I have no clue who the killer is. Not even like a slight idea. No, sir. Nine of us. It's gonna be eight of us soon, unless Nekomaru is the killer. Possible, possible. I still thought there was gonna be another kill. Damn it, that would have been so. That would have been good. Let's have some fun, fellas. Oh, 
Yeah, I really haven't... Dude, like... I'm just stupid. I still haven't spent any- I still haven't spent any of my hope fragments. I feel like that's a really bad idea. Yeah, whatever. Let's keep it on mean, because we're fucking meanies. begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. Okay, before we start, I want to look through these truth bullets. So I kind of have a feeling of what's going on here. Hmm. I think these accounts are going to be really important. That's why I'm looking over these real quick. Separated for a short time. Oh, you get another bag for free when you purchase it? See, that's something I didn't remember. That's why it's good to read these before you start. Interesting. I'll punish everyone be so well. I don't mind starting the trial, but I don't really have a grasp of how the case played out. You know, because I was asleep the whole time. <laughs> Even if you do grasp it, you're just going to confuse the heck out of us, aren't you? But Nagito's not alone. I don't really get it either. You're fine. Your head's empty anyway. Empty head? Huh. What's wrong with that? Listen up! The emptier your head, the more dreams you can stuff inside it, you know? Anyway, we shouldn't proceed with the trial if those two can't participate in the arguments. Since he's the first witness, why don't we ask Hajime to explain the incident and the sequence of events? Then, let's start with when we split into the hospital team and motel team because of the despair disease. The hospital team consisted of Nagito, Ibuki, and Akane, who were infected, and Mikan, Fuyuhiko, and me. The other five on the motel team were myself, Gundam, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Hyoko. Spending the night at the hospital was prohibited, so Hajime and I had to sleep at our cottages. I woke up at my cottage on the day the incident happened. Mikan came by to wake me up and told me that Nagito had recovered from his symptoms. We immediately headed over to the hospital, and after we confirmed his recovery, I made Mikan rest in the on-call room, since she hadn't slept all night, while I waited in the hospital lobby. And then, I saw the incoming signal light on the surveillance camera blinking before our scheduled time. When I pressed the button to turn on the monitor, what appeared on screen was... A video of someone wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head, climbing a stepladder. Amazing! That's such a heart-pounding story! And then what did you do, Hajime? I, I tried to stop them, of course. I rushed out of the hospital and ran to where the video was being recorded. The music venue. But it was too late. By the time I arrived, the person wearing the hemp bag on their head was already hanging from the ceiling. I thought I should tell the others right away, so I headed to the motel. Why the motel? Because it was close to the music venue. And unlike the hospital, there were more able-bodied people there. At least, that's what I thought. 
but the only person who came with me was Chiaki. But I remember feeling a little relieved because not long after, we met up with Mikan and Fuyuhiko. We were also looking for Ibuki since she disappeared from our sight. After I rested for a bit, I started counting everyone at the hospital. And then I noticed Ibuki was gone. So I, I sprinted out of the hospital. Coincidentally, I ran into Fuyuhiko. So I fled with him in various ways to see if he could help me out. Various ways? Don't say it like that and confuse people. After I heard from those two that Ibuki disappeared, I had a feeling she was the person wearing the hemp bag. So I immediately led them to the music venue, but the door wouldn't open. Since we had no other option, the four of us broke down the door. And when that happened, we didn't just find Ibuki's body. We also found Hiyoko's, and not just that. Her body was taped to a pillar. That's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Not once, but twice in a row. And so, we decided to lower the hanged body, didn't we? When we removed the hemp bag, just as we feared, it was Ibuki. So that's how the case played out. Thank you. I understood it very easily. Well, it's clear what the problem with this case is. When Hajime left the music venue, who... Wait, how do I know anything Hajime just said is true? <laughs> I was wondering when he was going to pull this bullshit. Sorry, I'm only being impartial right now. And the story I just heard is clearly suspicious. Hajime, if you're the only one who saw the hanging video and the first one to discover Ibuki's body, then you could be lying as much as you want right now, right? Lie? Why would I lie? Obviously. So you could make us ignore what might be an inconvenient truth for you. Do you doubt me? If you're not lying, I would like you to prove it. Come on, try to prove it to me. Prove you're not the killer. God damn it, Nagito. I, I I hang out with you, man. Fuck you. Hajime's testimony is clearly suspicious. If Hajime's testimony is alive, then the fact that Ibuki hung herself... That would also be a lie. I don't think I can deny that possibility. After all, Hajime is the only witness. Why would Hajime lie? Well, obviously, because he's the killer. Did Fuck these things. Kill both of them? The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie means it probably is Hajime's fault. No, fuck you. It's an... I didn't watch the movie. I didn't watch the movie, you little bastard. Where is it? Movie imitation ticket? That's the one. That would also. I don't think I can. After all, why would Hajime? Well, obviously, did Hajime? The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie. No, that's wrong. Nice try, Nagito. I'm on to your little tricks, buddy. I'm not the killer. I mean, there's no way I'd be able to imitate that movie. Of course you're not. I already knew that. Huh? Before the incident, Hajime had never watched that movie. His invitation ticket is proof of that. Each person only received one ticket, and they're marked with a stamp that shows the date and time. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Yes! No mistakes there! Which means there's no way Hajime, who never saw the movie, could commit murders that imitated it. Or, did anyone tell him what happens in the movie? Of course no one did, right? Hold on a sec! You're the one who brought this up in the first place! Nagito, what are you doing? Well, since we're opening with your witness testimony, I thought we should solidify the foundation. It also provides a good warm-up. What warm-up? This isn't a game, you know. <laughs> Don't get mad. I just think warming up is really important. Especially since this isn't a game. What a waste of time. Well, I knew it would turn out like this anyway. Now then... Since we know Hajime's testimony is reliable, let us move on to the arguments. So this means Ibuki definitely climbed the stepladder all by herself, right? Yeah, I'm positive. Then that seals it! Ibuki committed suicide! If Ibuki committed suicide, 
then who killed Hiyoko? Hmm, a murder coincidentally occurring in the same place as a suicide? Ain't possible, huh? Like I said before, it's pretty clear what the problem with this case is. The killer murdered Hiyoko while Hajime was gone. So all we gotta do is establish who could have possibly done that. Then let's ask Hajime. How long would you say you were away from the music venue? I couldn't have been gone for more than 10 minutes. So they killed Hiyoko and taped her up within 10 minutes? There's no way that's possible. That's why the killer stalled for time by making the music venue a closed room. Hmm? What do you mean, a closed room? The killer blocked the venue door from the inside to try and keep us from entering right away. However, that door is the only entrance to the music venue, right? If they blocked the door from the inside, the killer would not have been able to leave either. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Which means, when we broke down the venue door, the killer was still inside. Da, da, da. <laughs> they were? If that's the case, the only suspicious people are those who don't have an alibi for that time. And that's you two! Sonia and Kazuichi! <laughs> Me too? What the hell? Why's it gonna be us? The others all have alibis. Chiaki, Mikan, Hajime, and I all broke down the venue door together. Gundam met up with Hajime at the motel right before that. And if Akane and Nagito were laid up in the hospital, the only person that leaves is one of you. There's another person who doesn't have an alibi. You know, Nekomaru. Me too! Hey, why are you talking like... Huh? You're kidding, right? You're not up to something weird, are you? Please stop making bad jokes. Anyway, if the killer was hiding inside the venue, we should obviously doubt the people who don't have alibis. What a freaking way of backing us into a wall! Is this his professional skill? Hmm, I wonder. I feel like that would make it a little bit too easy. Surveillance monitor video. The killer was still inside the music then. By locking the door from the inside, they tried to keep us from getting in. It seems they were trying to stall for time. How did they lock the door? That door should not have had a lock. The lock was on the floor in front of the door. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? You can use that as a bolt to lock the door. By doing that, the killer who was hiding inside waited till we gathered together and suddenly appeared. So they looked like they had just rushed over. I have seen this in serial crime dramas. Okay, so how many prompts were there? Uh, there's like three or something, right? The killer was. I wish they told me what I was working with. Like, semi transparent glob. What the fuck's that again? Strange glob is was stuck to where both menu music venue doors touched each other. Did we ever figure out what this was? Isn't it possible that you could close? Oh no, 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 no. The drumstick, fuck the drumstick. I bet I know what he did. He sprayed it, because it starts as a liquid. And you can spray that from outside the venue. And then over time it hardens, because I never saw the drumstick. Like, I just saw it broken on the floor, that doesn't technically mean it was used as a lock. By locking the door from the inside. No, no. No, I don't believe that. No, that's wrong. There's also a possibility that the door was locked from the outside. From the outside? How? It was a semi-transparent glob stuck to the venue door. Maybe that's what they used. Semi-transparent glob? Like rubber, maybe? Uh, glue. I see! Semi-transparent glob. Must have been glue. Glue? Yeah, I think so too. It had a firm, gel-like chewiness. And I could smell workshop chemicals the moment I put it in my mouth. Based on all that, I'm certain it was glue. I didn't know glue was edible. 
beautiful. I believe it is not something one typically eats. That glue was only applied to the areas where both doors touched. By pouring it in the gaps of the closed door, they must have sealed the venue door from the outside. And thanks to that, a glob of glue was left where the door was stuck. Yep, it fits perfectly. But if you just stick them together with glue, you'd be able to break down the door easily, you know? That doesn't really matter. The killer only did that to make us think the door was locked from the inside. What'd you say? First of all, didn't that drumstick we found seem really obvious? Almost unnaturally so? It was so obvious that it makes more sense to think the killer placed it as a diversion. Are you saying the drumstick was a trap the killer set on purpose? Then I... I totally fell for that fucking trap! Apologize to Miss Sonia! And me! However, you're not allowed to slice open your stomach this time! In a quarrel, both sides are to blame. That's why it's better to just have no sides at all. So, during the ten minutes Hajime left the venue, the killer murdered Hiyoko and created a closed space? And they also taped her up after killing her, right? Even quick work has limits. Oh, what unimaginable speed for a slowpoke like me. Hmm. Who's fast on this team? I mean, in this game. The ultimate gymnast? Hmm. Yeah, probably the gymnast, right? What about you? Maybe you... <gasps> Wait a second. It's the hamsters! It's the hamsters! The stupid hamsters made it so he could do all that really quickly. Like, you've seen those hamsters do crazy shit, right? Interesting, interesting. Alrighty, guys, we'll uh, continue next time.